to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. Man, we are here once again, just like any other time. We have a special guest today. We're going to be talking to the one and only Frank Garcia. He's representing Texas. I know he's in New York, but man, he's on The Voice. So how are you doing today? Hi, thank you so much for having me here. It's a it's an honor. Man, appreciate your time. So man, let's spill the tea, man. I mean, you're on Team Dan and Shay. How has it been so far on the show? You're on it. I mean, not everybody can say that, but you can right now. Uh, no, yeah, it's it's been such a blessing. I mean, the... The, the amount of people that I was able to meet is just crazy. Um, I know that I have made um, lifelong friendships. And on top of that, just getting to work with all these celebrities and just meeting them in person is was kind of surreal. And um, I've just been having such a blast. It's such It's been such an amazing experience right now. I mean, take us back on the first time being on stage and having them turn their chairs. What was oh, yeah. it like going through your mind? It was crazy. I was like super nervous. I mean, the nerves never go away, even after doing it for so many um, years. Um, and I just remember being backstage and those doors opening for me to go on, on the audition stage. And I was just so nervous. It was uh, just like uh, the crazy nerves were kicking in, but I knew that I, I needed to lock in and just do my best. And um, I'm really happy with how, what, with everything I was able to do. And speaking of locking in, that is crucial beyond the show. But before we oh, get yeah. into that, how are your parents doing? I know they are super big supporters in your life. What was the reaction of you being to move further along in the show? Um, they were really, really happy, um, especially after my battles. Because um, um, before I had done um, Lavos Kids, which is the boys' kids, and I lost in battles, actually. And so this time when I told them, like, oh, I made it. I made it like I won. Um, they were just really proud of me and really happy. My parents are uh, my biggest supporters since I was um, small. And um, I always do everything to try to make them proud and make them um, know that like their work uh, is uh, has been has been for something. And like I said, you know, Team Dan and Shay kind of walk us through your experience so far. Them being your coach and kind of give you the blueprint, if you will. So that way we're on stage, you can hit out the park every time. No, yeah. Um, Dan and Shay are just amazing. I mean, they're very good at, you know, um, doing arrangements with their music. Um, they're just the sweetest people ever. And I just felt like I really connected with them because they're g- very genuine people. They're authentic and they really do show that they care about the contestants. What has been your friends and family's reaction of you being on the show, man? Because this is a big deal. You are doing big things right now. What has been your circle's uh, reaction to you moving further? No, they, they've been so supportive. I mean, back home, I've been getting so many messages from teachers back home. My sister tells me that uh, when she's back home and, and that all her teachers are like, tell her that um, they like my outfits and that they're very like happy that I'm doing this. And I mean, the people here in Columbia University have been super supportive. The deans, um, they the Columbia Instagram page that have been posting me, reposting me all the times that I performed. And all my friends here have been super supportive. And so I'm just very blessed uh, to have all these people around me. I mean, you got San Antonio Express News writing about you, man. And that's big. So yeah. shout out to you representing Texas as well. Tell us a little bit about your story, man. Like you're here, you're doing your thing in the music world right now. But on the um, personal side, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah. Um, so I grew up in Mexico for around seven years. And then that's when I moved to Texas to pursue my academic um, goals. And when I moved to um, Texas, that's when I kind of was uh, introduced to mariachi music. Because um, back at home, I would sing it a little bit, but it wasn't um, like anything crazy. Like I, I wasn't really involved in it. Um, it wasn't until I had my first vocal teacher who like taught me what uh, the first like ranchera music. And so that's when during elementary and then uh, middle school and um, high school, I started just performing a lot of mariachi because our high school, our 
our our I, uh, our district program has a Mariachi program lasting from elementary, middle school, and to high school, where they have varsities and JVs. It's like a thing that you like audition for. It's it's really like competitive, and then we would go on, on competitions and. Um, that's also when I started going on um, these TV reality shows and also performing mariachi music. And um, even though I love my mariachi culture and I love uh, being Mexican and I think it's so beautiful, I did feel a lot of the times I was restricted from being myself on stage. Um, being um, queer myself, it was really difficult, you know, for my intersectionality to actually show on stage because of how traditional mariachi culture can be. And so that's when I moved into, when well, I was accepted to Columbia University this is when um, I started exploring different genres of music and seeing what I kind of liked. And then I auditioned for the show and I got cast in. It was it has been a crazy experience since then. And you're on TV, man. I mean, has yeah. it hit you? Are you living your dream? I mean, how do you feel right now knowing that you have opportunity of a lifetime? Um, it's just I, it feels so surreal because um, this has been something that I've dreamt for since I was little ever since I went to the voice kids when I was smaller I've, I've always wanted to come to the voice because I knew it was like the big leagues that's kind of how I referred it to as in the show and just being in it is crazy seeing myself on Peacock seeing myself on um, NBC on like when I, I had a viewing party at this um local bar with my friends it was just crazy seeing myself there and um it's just been such a beautiful experience with the platform that you have right now if you could say anything to anybody out there listening, what will be your message? Yeah, my message is just to be your true authentic self. I mean, I feel like there's so much hate for, you know, being hyper feminine as a, as a male. And um, even just by being um, Latin X, it's already like very difficult for us to like kind of look in the queer community to embrace our intersectionality because of the machismo traditional views that there are out there. And I feel like, um, if there's an artist out there who is scared to be themselves, I feel like it's important for you to just push yourself um, because it does eventually get better. And eventually you do feel just comfortable living the way you want to. And just, uh, you know, like it, it's just uh, this experience has really taught me that it's OK to be yourself. And I feel like being yourself is what makes everyone so unique and beautiful. We're talking to Frank Garcia of The Voice, Team Dan and Shay. I mean, when you look at what you are going to do, the next time you're on stage, knowing now what you know from the feedback from your coaches, what's one thing that you're going to focus on moving forward? I think what I really want to focus on moving forward would definitely be more of my performance. I want to give, you know, like a performance of a lifetime. I want to be able to hopefully eventually act, uh, also be able to perform with um, alongside with my intersectionality and represent both, you know, my Latinx community and queer community at the same time. I, I, that's, I feel like that would be, uh, that's a goal of mine that I hope I get to accomplish in the show. Once again, talking to Frank Garcia, you can watch NBC The Voice, Team Dan and Shay. Once again, sir, thank you for your time, man. And good luck to what you do next. Thank you so much for inviting me. It was a pleasure.